So for one of my research projects, I end up having to map things that are really hard to stitch. So we went out and took 374 pictures of a cornfield from about 120 feet. So you see, we this is an example of the pictures we have. It's just an endless sea of corn. Um, and I wanted to stitch that all together into a map, so we have some in-house tools to do that. And the result comes out looking like this. Um, you can see all the pictures are arranged um, in their proper places. And we can zoom in and see all that nice fine corn detail. Um, in our case, we were looking for weeds, which this is a really clean field. Um, but if you've ever tried to stitch these outdoor, natural, repetitive environments, they just blow up most of <laughs> the existing stitching tools. Uh, so I had to work really hard at this, um, but I think I came up with a way, obviously, to do it since... Uh, since it's obviously working here. Um, and I just wanted to make a quick little video about it. Um, it's kind of fun to zoom in. Let's see. Maybe what if we could zoom into some place? You can see right through into the ground. Um, I was hoping to find a weed. Anyway, one of the cool things about this visualization tool is it's drawing the actual original pictures, not an ortho mosaic. So as I'm looking here at things, I can load the different views. And it was actually quite a windy day, which didn't help the stitching. Um, so you can kind of see how from one image to the next, or one viewpoint to the next, the images or the corn leaves are moving and changing perspective and you can imagine how challenging this is to stitch um, get all these different perspectives and you have to somehow find common features and fit them all together um, just for fun i uploaded this to pix4d which is a great program and does a wonderful job usually but let's see if I can pull it up here of the whole area it got a tiny bit of one of the pictures stitched um, just for context I can turn on the background and you can kind of see whoop, you can see the mode area you can see where the power lines are and it got just that one tiny little bit um, a little tools, you can see the mode channel there, the power lines. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I'm also, um, we flew the same area at a lower altitude, so we get even better detail on these corn leaves. And I'm working on stitching that right now, and it's computationally intensive. Uh, so it takes a while. Um, to do all this extra work to get these things to stitch, but um, I'm pretty happy with the result in the end. So, that's what I got. It was just kind of fun to see the result come together, and I wanted to share that. Thanks for watching.